Also breaking tonight, according to the DOJ, Hunter Biden's phone contained multiple pictures of what appeared to be crack cocaine and drug paraphernalia, saying that the pictures are more evidence that Hunter was using drugs when he claimed he was not on his gun application form. And on the subject of drugs, uh, the administration, maybe it's time to reopen that cocaine into investigation. You know, who brought the bag of cocaine into the Biden White House? They found no suspects after a really long 10-day investigation. This on top of, of course, the we're told by the FBI that they believe they found residual cocaine on Hunter's, what, um, I guess gun or holster, one or the other. Here with reaction to all the breaking news, we have the three lawmakers that are leading the Biden impeachment inquiry. House Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer, House Judiciary Committee Chair Jim Jordan, House Ways and Means Committee Chairman Jason Smith. Congressman Comer, we'll start with you tonight. Tony Bobolinsky, the big guy, Biden was the business. What did you learn today? Well, we learned a lot, uh, and Tony Bobolinsky handled himself very well. I've never seen Democrats or anyone act worse in a deposition than they did. Uh, the Democrats couldn't handle the truth, and that's what Tony Bobolinsky delivered today. He delivered the truth. He talked about Joe's involvement. He talked about the numerous times he talked to Joe Biden. Uh, he mentioned that Joe Biden thanked him for uh, what he was doing uh, with his brother and his, his son. So Joe Biden knew very well the role Tony Bobulinski was playing in the in the, the Biden orbit. And he talked about what CEF, CEFC was. And I think every American would be concerned if they could understand exactly what CEFC was trying to do. They were trying to implement their Belt and Road Initiative in the United States. Everything that we have bipartisan agreement on in Congress uh, to prevent China from doing in the United States, CEFC was, was trying to acquire the services of the Bidens to be able to remove the barriers of entry into our market. So Joe Biden was working for the Chinese. He was the brand. Tony Bobulinski is the second person on record under oath to testify that Joe Biden was the brand. And what didn't he talk about millions and millions of dollars and he mentioned all these other countries as well and Joe's involvement that he was directly involved in all of this in spite of what he told the American people as a candidate and as a president numerous times that he never once spoke to his son his brother or anybody for that matter. Is that all that, true? Million that Do we is know how many that, millions at this point? Well, we're over, well over 20 million that the Bidens have taken, uh, well over 8 million from China. Uh, we found out today it was because of Joe Biden. Uh, they, did, they had no use in Hunter Biden. They certainly had no use in Jim Biden. They were paying for Joe Biden, the brand. And Tony Bobolinsky did a great job explaining that. And uh, I think that the American people will be very interested to read the transcripts when we release them. All right, let me ask you, Jim Jordan, let's get your take on the developments today. And, and I'd like to know, I know that, that your colleague, Congressman Comer, has demanded the DOJ turn over Joe Biden's classified documents. I'd also like the records of all those pseudonym accounts, uh, email accounts that he was using. I'd like every single email he sent. Uh, I'd, also, I'd also like to take a look at Joe Biden's bank records. Is there any chance that, that we'll get a hold of all of this so that maybe you can well, put this well, whole thing together? Well, what we really want now is we want the information Robert Hur has. And they can't hide. The White House and the Justice Department can't hide behind the fact that, oh, it's an ongoing investigation. The investigation's over. We have a 300-some page report from uh, Special Counsel Hur. We want those transcripts. We want that information. We want, we want the, the video footage. We want all that information as we go about doing our work. Uh, to the other point, Sean, I mean, this is called the money, the business, the brand. That's what, that's what was going on with the Biden family. And the White House story has changed so many times. First it was, I never spoke to Hunter Biden about his business. Then it was, I've never in business with Hunter Biden. And then, of course, Hunter Biden himself said, my father wasn't financially involved. We get the facts from all these witnesses. And here's probably the best one we got a couple weeks ago from one of Hunter Biden's business associates. When Joe Biden shows up at the, at the Four Seasons restaurant for lunch, at the lunch are Hunter Biden, his associates, and eight Chinese officials who are executives at CEFC, the Chinese energy company. Joe Biden comes in, gives a short presentation, and leaves. Three weeks later, the deal gets closed, and $3 million gets wired to Biden accounts. That's what was going on. The money, the business, the brand, which is what they were selling. And Tony Bobolinsky confirmed that today in his testimony. 
The money, the business, the brand. Tony Bobolinsky today. You had Rob Walker, a former business associate of Hunter's. He met with the chairman of CEFC, the Four Seasons in Washington. Has that been confirmed? And do you find both Mr. Walker and Tony Bobolinsky, uh, Jim Jordan, do you find them to be uh, credible witnesses for your case? Well, at that luncheon, uh, Tony Bobolinsky wasn't there, but Rob Walker was. Rob Walker, though, is the guy who wouldn't even tell us that the big guy was Joe Biden. I mean, think about that. that that's unbelievable. But Tony Bobolinsky obviously confirmed that the big guy on an email to Walker, to Hunter Biden, to all these folks who were doing business together, that the, the big guy was, in fact, uh, Joe Biden. So, yeah, we did find Tony Bobolinsky's story hasn't changed. The White House story has changed. The Justice Department story has changed about how they handled the Hunter Biden investigation. But like the whistleblowers, Tony, Tony Bobolinsky's story has not wavered. He's just come forward with what he sees as the facts, and he's presented them to the committee and, just as importantly, to the country. And, and Congressman Smith, let's talk to you about Tony Bobolinsky and the allegations that he made and the things he testified to today, that he worked with Hunter Biden uh, to create the joint vent venture, Sinohawk Holdings, with CEFC, the Chinese energy conglomerate, and said that he met with Joe Biden in 2017 and that Joe Biden, quote, enabled his son Hunter to sell access to the United States to our most dangerous adversaries, including the Chinese Communist Party, Russia, and more, and that he had direct personal experience, and it was clear that Joe Biden was the brand being sold by the Biden family. Uh, what's your reaction to that testimony? You know, Sean, that's exactly right. Today, Tony Bobolinsky confirmed what the two IRS whistleblowers said months ago in WhatsApp messages that they, they delivered to the House Ways and Means Committee that said that Joe Biden is the brand and the family business is selling the brand all over the country to all these foreign different foreign entities like China, Russia. What's also interesting today is that Tony Bobolinsky, Sean, said that he named the time, the location where he sat down with Joe Biden for 45 minutes to talk about the relationship with the Chinese companies, Chinese government. And that was three years before Joe Biden stood up before the American people in a debate saying that his son was not involved in any, with any Chinese company. Same question for all three of you. We are talking about the president of the United States that may have taken official actions as vice president that benefited his family. We're talking about Joe Biden not only just lying to the American people, but enriching his family by doing deals with, with some of our biggest geopolitical foes. Um, Jim Jordan, I'll start with you. Where does this end? This is an impeachment inquiry here. What would be, you know, what are you looking at in terms of possible charges against Joe? Well, potential obstruction, potential money laundering, potential bribery, those are what we're looking at. We got two more witnesses, Jim Biden next week, Hunter Biden the following week. We'll depose those. We'll see what they bring forward. But I, I think in the end, it's a tale as old as time. Politician does certain things. Those actions benefit his family financially. And then there's an effort to cover it up. And we would have never known about the cover up but for the brave whistleblowers. But we got to complete our investigation. Then we'll decide. You said over 20 million. Uh, what crimes do you possibly see here or impeachable offenses do you see, James Comer? Well, Joe Biden, to me, uh, looks like he's violated the Foreign Corrupt Practices Act. Uh, in that act, it defines what constitutes a bribe. And uh, certainly, if you look at while he was vice president, uh, the gifts that his son and brother received uh, certainly meet the definition of, of, uh, of bribery. So uh, that's certainly a problem. Jim Jordan mentioned the obvious with the six different banks uh, implied in their suspicious activity reports that there was money laundering, tax evasion, tax fraud, wire fraud. I think uh, with the president's brother, there's securities fraud. So it's a pretty long list. Uh, like uh, Representative Jordan said, uh, we're going to be hopefully uh, getting the two final uh, depositions together with the with the Biden family members, and then we'll, might, we'll proceed might from you, there. Might you may, may are, are you thinking about may, maybe sending a subpoena to Joe Biden? 
Well, we'll see where, where everything leads, but uh, he's certainly uh, a, a key player in this, obviously. Uh, we've learned from some of the uh, previous interviews that we've conducted uh, that there may be some more suspicious activity and another maybe account that was unknown. Uh, so we're requesting information on that. We're taking right. steps needed to uh, issue subpoenas that will uh, win in court. Jason, what impeachable offenses are you looking at? Well, Sean, if you just look, um, Joe Biden, the Biden family, has been cashing in his position of power in government. We have numerous examples of witnesses who have said that. The IRS whistleblowers have highlighted evidence of that. Joe Biden's going to go down as the most corrupt, compromised president in our lifetime. Prediction. Will Joe Biden, as a result of the three of you and your independent investigations, be impeached? Do you believe that'll happen, Jim Jordan? Uh, we got to wait till the evidence is done. We got to see where our colleagues are. But I think the case is pretty compelling. Jim Comer. I agree with Jim Jordan. And Jason Smith, last word. I'm with Jim and Jamie. <laughs> All right, three for three. All right, we'll be watching very closely and reporting every detail.